when did you actually first really start thinking about acting? So you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Okay. <laughs> um, um, at the circus, actually. <laughs> yeah. In England. Um, yeah, I was about three, I think. Um, God, how embarrassing. Um, and it took a while, I think until I was at school and then trying to make my friends laugh and but I think the circus was the kind of oh, I thought I wanted to go into comedy more and then ended up doing the serious stuff but um, doing plays for friends and then everyone getting into that and it was just an extension of play. And what about you? Because you, you grew up in a theatre. Yes I did. There's a lot of juggling before breakfast, I can tell you. Um, and um, I'm, I'm a bit like Sandy, I wanted to be a comedian though, you see. I didn't want to be an actress. My sister went, left school at 16 and went to be an actress. My mum's an actress, my dad was an actor and then became a director. So, I mean, for a long time I wanted to be a hospital administrator, for God's sake. Did you really? Because a woman who was a hospital administrator came to the school and I think I liked the cut of her jib, you know, and thought, hmm, controlling ill people. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, yes. Then I went to university and I was with you and Stephen and everything in the footlights and then left and we all went to sketch comedy for ages. A lot of it very bad. Um, and um, and then I, I did, when I was 27, I did my first straight part. Amy, what was the one moment where you had that sort of feeling this is, this is what I want to do? I'm waiting for it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I, I, w I mean, I loved, I loved performing, but I was, um, I was much more of sort of a singer dancer kind of. I thought I was going to do. You were a hoofer. I, really I was a proper hoofer. Well, not in the wow, sense I'm not a good tap dancer, but I was. A, I trained as a ballet dancer, so I always thought that's what I was going to do. And ballet dancing was, it was too disciplined, too restrained, and I, I was always like Cassie in a chorus line. I was like, don't pop your hip, don't. You know, add the flair, and so I always was don't adding. smile, yeah. don't stand out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, kind of, kind of. Yeah, I was always the girl. I, I was like, but there's a great musical beat there, and if you just kind of, I think Tchaikovsky would understand. He he wrote yeah, it. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he bloody would have understood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I just remember um, in kindergarten at the graduation ceremony. And they had a certain kids come up and say little things. And I was the loudest, the most charismatic and funny little person up there. And I, whatever I said, I just kind of did it. And the audience was like, <laughs> and I looked and I was like, wow. And I think that was the moment the bug bit me. Um, I had a sort of similar moment of, of being a kid and going to see a play and I just remember sort of sitting on the edge of my seat and like holding on like I was like I could take off like I could sort of like I was gonna I, I would just be propelled onto the stage I was so blown oh, and it was a, and it was a rinky dink production of Tom Sawyer and it was in a basement and the ceiling was leaking and you know the costumes were bad but I just was done it was sort of over and I was also I was also um, a fibber as a kid <laughs> and so I think I saw like, well, that's for me. Um, yeah. and, and then it just sort of became this kind of way out, honestly. I, I moved, I got emancipated from my parents when I was young. And, um, and I moved here to Los Angeles. And um, um, it, was just a way, it was just a way out, you know? And, I, and I, I mean, I feel really far away from it. It used to sort of be this very defining moments, you know, I mean, I, my whole person, my whole identity was wrapped mm -hmm. up in the fact that I was, that I was independent and that I had sort of done this thing. And now that just feels like another mm -hmm. lifetime and I just am so happy I'm alive. Mm -hmm.